here at ASH 2011 in San Diego, California. We're pleased to have with us Dr. Philip Haddad. He is the Chief of Hematology at Overton Brooks Medical Center in Louisiana and also Assistant Professor at the LSU Health Science Center. Thanks for joining us, sir. Oh, thank you for inviting me. All right, so you're here to discuss what isn't your basic clinical trial. Can you tell us about it? In fact, it is not a clinical trial. It is more of a compilation of our clinical experience in the intervention uh, for the mucositis that results from using a drug that is prelectrexate. As you can tell, prelectrexate is a drug that is brand new and it's the first in the peripheral T-cell lymphoma world. And it's a good drug. It works quite well in certain uh, diseases. And uh, the peripheral T-cell lymphoma is a rare disease and has very, very limited uh, uh, armamentarium of treatments. And in fact, if it weren't from prelotrexate, we wouldn't have any FDA-approved drug in that uh, conglomeration of diseases. Uh, the problem with prelotrexate, although it has activity in this uh, rare and sometimes desperate diseases, the problem with it is the side effects of mucositis is the bane of the being of the, the patients. And it can lead to uh, stopping the drug in many, many instances and scares the physician in many other instances to continue with uh, what can be a life prolonging drug in these diseases. Now the abstract you presented here at ASH, how did you design this project? Well, the project came about from the fact that I had to, myself, I had, I see more of the, all of the T-cells in my institution in the Overton Brooks VA, and when I started using the drug, the mucositis surfaced, as, uh, and based on the PROPEL trial, you can expect grade 3 and grade 4 mucositis in close to 21% of the cases, and these are grade 3, grade 4 that are significant. So I had to improvise, I had to come up with something to try to get my patients through this treatment unscathed. And uh, it came about uh, for two reasons how it came about is, one of them is uh, Leucovorin Rescue is approved by the package insert, by the FDA, to treat overdoses of the drug. And the drug also is akin of an old drug that we used to use and we still use in many diseases, the methotrexate. And in that particular instance, we usually use leucovorin after we give methotrexate to rescue from side effects, preemptively. So in this situation, although the drug was promoted as a drug to be used without uh, preemptive rescue, in this case, we thought like, wait a minute, if we follow all the, and you follow all the uh, permutations, the drug reductions and the holidays, which are per uh, package insert. However, unfortunately, some of the patients still come back and say, okay, I'm still dealing with mucositis, what next? What next is, according to the package insert, is stop the drug. And they don't want to stop it if it's working because it's a rare disease or rare diseases with an S. And it doesn't have anything that is approved until Folotin came on board. So they don't want to stop it. They want me to do something to counter the effect of the side effects. So we said, OK, how about using the Leucovorin Rescue, which is 25 milligrams uh, as a pill form every six hours, to use it on the week that we give the holiday as per indi indications and the, the package insert. So we gave that for five days and we were surprised that some of them started reporting improvement in symptoms uh, that on top of our medical intervention just for pain and keep your mouth clean because we don't have any indicated uh, treatment for that. They started reporting subjective significant improvement by the third day to the fourth day. And then we have, we kept bring them back weekly to check on their mouth because that's the proper way of saying whether you can go ahead and give the other dose. It's given weekly. And we found out, we were surprised that by the seventh day, they're ready to go for another dose and for another dose and for another dose. And if, it, if mucositis comes back, you can rescue them with Leucovore and they come back and back. And many of them actually, actually all of them completed their eight cycles of Folotin, which is probably uh, unheard of when mucositis sets in. So we looked at our intervention in 17 such cases uh, or incidents 
and we found out that it was consistent. By the third to fourth day, the patient feels better. By the seventh day, when he comes back to see me and I evaluate his mouth before I dose him again, guess what? Mucositis is gone in almost all of the cases or close to grade one in one of the cases. So that was an interesting finding and I thought that we should have shared this, that we should share this, that's what we, should, we did, with the rest of the clinical oncologists that see such patients and deal with the side effects. And instead of them stopping a drug that is working, trying to deal with this uh, side effect. The, uh, the other issue that we also try to answer for the clinicians that don't see high volumes of T cells and doesn't use folatin regularly or, uh, is whether re rescuing with uh, folinic acid or leucovorin uh, lead to decrement in uh, the gains that you got as far as response rate. And we followed over all of our patients and actually all of them never lost their response uh, that they had before we started this rescue. And some of them continued to show response like uh, transformed mycosis fungoides. So it was something that we were pleased to see and it's something that the patient were pleased to have uh, as as more of an assurance that I can go through the treatment, the doctor can do something for me other than say, okay, take this pain pill and let's wait it out and see what happens. So uh, it was a positive experience. So based on your success, where do you go from here to help patients? There were some talks about uh, compiling uh, data from other uh, T-cell lymphoma experts that actually started uh, using such an approach so that we can build on these numbers and uh, I'm not quite sure where the company is gonna whether they're gonna do something that is more of a like a controlled study where they see if such an intervention versus no intervention with formucositis um, the level of response the level of uh, compliance which goes without actually uh, it's no-brainer the compliance is gonna be much better we know that but you know you always want to confirm what a single individual and single institution say as positive because maybe there are some biases that we don't know about. So it's a nice thing to look at other institutions and try to see if we can go with a simple controlled study in quality of care when we give such a drug. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Dr. Philip Haddad joining us here at ASH 2011 on OncuView.tv. He is the Chief of Hematology at the Overton Brooks Medical Center and Assistant Professor at LSU in the great state of Louisiana.